Welcome back to the channel everyone, my name is Max, and today we are going to be covering some news on the soon-to-be-released film The Northman, written and directed by Robert Eggers. This Viking epic is set to be an instant classic amongst fans of films like Braveheart, Gladiator, and 300. But while those films covered the cultures of Romans, Spartans, and Celts, Northmen will be setting out to tell the tale of the Nordic saga Amleth, a Danish tale that dates back to at least the 13th century, which inspired none other than Shakespeare's Hamlet and Disney's The Lion King. This film is extremely close to my heart because of my own personal Swedish heritage. My great-grandfather, Von Wollert, was actually from Sweden. And if you couldn't tell already, it's actually where I get my middle name, Vaughn. Hey, who knew you guys were gonna get an origin story in this video? So if you've seen the earlier works of Edgar, such as The Witch and The Lighthouse, you'll know that his films are much more artistic in nature and centered around the horror genre. Even after watching the Northman trailer, I could see that this was not going to be just your average generic Hollywood blockbuster popcorn eating action flick. Just consume product and then get excited for next products. Because although those films can be fun, I think Eggers is trying to make a much more meaningful and impactful film here. And that's one that is going to take a deeper look at Norwegian people and their mythology. He states in an interview with Den of Geek, I have a story that the audience knows already, referring to Amleth, Hamlet, and the Lion King. So therefore, I can really indulge in the world building. If it had been a more unknown story, it would have been harder to dig into the mythology the way I was able to in this movie. Real quick, if you are enjoying your time here, please like and subscribe, and also catch me on my live show every Monday at 6 p.m. Pacific. Now, reading that quote is when I really got excited for this, because as a man of Viking descent, I am thrilled that this will explore the Nordic history and the traditions that Vikings practiced. Now, I'm not saying that I feel like I'm finally represented in a film, so now I can identify with that person because, hey, he looks like me. It's, it's much more than that. However, I am looking forward to seeing my ancestors, hopefully kicking some serious ass. But this is also where things get really frustrating because I don't need to have this film, nor do I think a lot of people would say that I need this representation for my Viking heritage. Look at the most recent Vikings Valhalla series on Netflix, where they replaced an actual historical white man, Jarl Haken, and race and gender swapped him with a black female who is quote, a great warrior and tolerant leader. <laughs> yeah, because the people who invented the blood eagle as a means for torture and death were tolerant. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Now, before I start getting death threats, no, there is nothing wrong with authentic and organic representation and diversity. The fact that I even have to preface that is ridiculous. But hey, this is YouTube after all, so better safe than sorry. However, when you try to cast a historical figure in 11th century Norway for your show, but end up forcing identity politics into your narrative, it becomes a convoluted and disheveled mess. But don't take my word for it. Why don't you ask Twitter how they felt about it? But instead of talking too much about the Netflix Viking show, let's see what people are saying about the Northmen film. You're telling me that a man who looks like this decided to make a movie about Vikings in 2022? Yeah, it's giving white supremacist. You see, this is why. This is why we can't have nice things, Barry. Ah uh, yes, you can always depend on people like this to encourage racial divide and outrage tactics in entertainment. Now, despite her awful grammar, I think I can deduce that what she was trying to say was it's giving me white supremacist vibes, but I digress. I was extremely apathetic after seeing this, rolling my eyes and pretty much saying, Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. 
But to humor this tweet, just, just for a moment, why, why can't he make a movie about Vikings in 2022? True diversity and inclusion is about the acceptance of all races, genders, cultures, and religions, right? This tweet is absolutely ridiculous, but it does show that how contrived and disgusting our conversations have become about film and entertainment. Instead of discussing the filmmaking process and the places they traveled to and the set pieces designed and all the things learned in the process of recreating 13th century Norway, we entertain these conversations of why someone is supposedly a white supremacist. Not only is this film being called out for its apparent racism, but also because of the overly masculine and testosterone-ridden themes throughout. In this article by Kevin Marr from The Times UK, he belittles the film for its themes as campy, stating, Northman is a film so assured of its chest-pumping grandeur and so determined to portray its sword-wielding Scandinavian beefcakes, weapons drawn, slathered in baby oil, with the utmost seriousness that it frequently lapses into unintentional risable camp. He goes on to say that The Northman is a one-note fiasco and a foam-flecked depiction of a cartoon machismo from a gifted filmmaker who should have known better. I don't know the writer of this article personally, nor am I trying to bash his character or anything, but I'm not entirely sure why he thinks the overly masculine depictions of these characters are campy. It feels like within the past five years, the heart of the masculine hero has not been taken seriously at all, which is exactly why these characters probably felt like, as Kevin would say, beefcakes and cartoons. What? Beefcake! 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 But I long for a film to bring back heroic masculine characters, portrayed on the screen like Aragorn, Maximus, and Leonidas. Men who now would probably be made fun of for, or ridiculed in 2022 for their toxicity of willing to sacrifice their life for a cause greater than their own, or because of them staying true to their beliefs. Either way, I do hope to see an overly masculine character portrayed by Alexander Skarsgård as Amleth. The good news to all of this though is that this is just one review. So I won't say that this is how the majority of people are reacting to it, but it did feel a bit off the beaten path. So I wanted to highlight it, you know, just in case this does become a conversation piece later once the film is finally released here in the States. Because the truth is, as far as I can tell from articles and online sources, those who have seen the film are really enjoying it. So could this be the return of a span of movies that are just wanting to tell a good story and not indulge in the mental gymnastics of identity politics? My prediction for this movie is that it's not going to be some grand scale blockbuster epic, but that it will be more of an art film that will be more accessible to a larger audience. Eggers is definitely going to put some crazy wild scenes of hallucinogens in there so that the human characters can have some interactions with the Nordic gods and the Valkyries. And I can't help but think that this is going to turn so visceral and brutal that it could be actually considered a horror film. But like I said, that's just my prediction. I will be seeing The Northmen later this week, so let me know in the comment section down below if y'all would like me to do a full review after seeing it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more like it, please consider supporting me by subscribing to the channel, sharing it with others, and donating to the Stream Elements link below. Every donation goes right back into the show to provide better material, better and more frequent uploads, and overall just better production value. Another huge thank you to all my fans and subscribers for your constant love and support. I humbly say that I could not do this without you. That's all I have for now, and I will see you guys in the next video.